Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to Your Essentials and thank you for watching today's emergency breaking news video about the PSVR 2 that potentially could become compatible with a PC which is like similarly to mine for example this guy here is the PC that I use for all my Steam VR experiences so would you rush to go out and buy a PlayStation PSVR 2 headset if you don't have a Sony PlayStation, you know, would you just rush and go and buy one? You know, do you really feel the FOMO effect? Do you want to see all those and experience all those different feelings with the haptic feedback that it has inside the headset? Those amazing controllers. Would you rush and go and buy it? Leave a comment below. Let me know what you think potentially about this news. All right, time to go into the articles because guys, this is not new. By the way, on May 8th, there was another article that came out by mixed-news.com about the PSVR 2 authentication on PC being cracked but don't cheer too soon is what they basically said. A team of specialists wants to make PlayStation VR 2 PC compatible. Now another small hurdle has been taken. So the news that's, that is breaking today, I'm going to go through this very, you know, of course, in just a moment with you. I'm just recapping on what has happened before the news that we're going to talk about today. So let's go back to that article. Back then, the group called Ivory developed a driver that allows the first PlayStation VR to be used on a PC. Since the launch of PlayStation VR 2, the team, let me just scroll back down very quickly. There we go. The team has been trying to do the same with Sony's new VR headset. Whether they will succeed is unclear. The group says that PlayStation VR 2 is a lot more complex and that the success of the project is far from uncertain. However, they were able to make the PlayStation VR 2 back then to trust a PC. And you can basically see the photo here, the device found, excuse me, VIN underscore 054 CNPI PSVR 2 authenticated. So that's basically what happened back in May. Now let's fast forward to today and let's go through this breaking news because this is absolutely amazing, guys. This article is by VideoGamesChronicle.com. PlayStation VR 2 will eventually be compatible with PC, claims Windows drivers creator. But it also says, but it won't be soon and may require extra time to custom make hardware it claims. So if we just go through the article very quickly, it's possible to make PlayStation VR 2 compatible with PC. The creators of PlayStation VR Windows driver has claimed the Ivory driver is a piece of Steam software which adds drive custom drivers, excuse me, for other non-PC headsets such as PlayStation VR, Give VR, or Google Daydream. This allows players to connect these headsets to their PC and use them to play Steam VR games without having to buy a separate dedicated PC VR headset. Now, by the way, guys, you know, as I said, would you go and rush for the PlayStation VR 2 or would you go for the Pimax Crystal or would you go for Beyond by Big Screen? Or would you go and buy a, you know, a DPVR E4, which is a great barrier to entry to PC VR, by the way, for only 500 bucks. What VR headset would you go if the PlayStation 2 VR headset was available for, you know, and compatible with, the, with a PC? Leave a comment below. As we know, the PSVR headset, the number two, isn't perfect. It has a lot of issues with the lenses. So, hmm, a big question to ask yourself. And of course, a lot of other questions to go, which is, the compatibility of the SDKs and all those various different things as well. So make sure to smash the likes, by the way, guys, if you want more of these kind of videos, hit the notification bell for more live AMAs as we just did very recently a live Ask Me Anything with the creator of Walkabout Mini Golf. And do go and check out that video after this video as well. All right, back to the article. Since the launch of PlayStation VR 2, in February, Ivory has been trying to determine whether it's possible to make Sony's new headset compatible with VR on PC2. Now, after nearly four months, it's come to the conclusion that it is indeed possible. It is indeed possible. Woo! Awesome. Um, to use PlayStation VR 2 on PC, but it will require more work and likely need extra custom-made 
hardware. So basically what they're saying is the difference between before and now is that the breaking news is that it is confirmed possible that we can make it work. It's just that we need additional hardware to get it to work on the actual PC using the PlayStation VR 2. So, all right, let's see uh, what else they have to say. Uh, PSVR 2 was blocking VR modes by saying it couldn't do digital stream compression. I've retweeted. We modified an AMD open source Linux GPU drivers to force DSC. Now we know how to put the PSVR 2 into VR mode. Ooh, this is very cool, guys. So we can design some hardware to it to do it on Windows. Can PSVR 2 be used on PC? The answer is undeniably now as i mentioned before yes they can do it all right so here is basically the tweet by ivory by the way day 121 everybody can you believe it and we're in psvr2 was blocking vr modes by saying it couldn't do dcs dsc sorry we modified an amd open source linux gpu driver to force dsc now we know how to put the psvr2 into vr mode so we can design some hardware to do it on windows can psvr2 be used on pc as i mentioned just now it's a resoundably yes so there you go guys there we have it now the question is what else is there that we need to know about it then clarifies its statement by explaining that it will be some time before PSVR 2 can fully use, be used Excuse me, on PC, telling one follower how long is a piece of string. There is no way at this point to give estimates. It won't be soon, that's for sure. Now, the other issue I would imagine is that will PlayStation be happy about this or not happy about this? You know, if it was to be released and we could use the PSVR 2 without buying the console, Will there be lawsuits happening? Because remember, all the VR modes who've been modifying all the various different VR games who do not have the rights to use those games and to modify and to then sell them for profit, basically, as they might charge a dollar or something to join their, um, their Discord or something like that or whatever. You know, are there going to be any litigation liabilities here uh, for them to crack the code and to enable people like you and me who don't have a PlayStation um, nor are looking to purchase one but wish to have the PSVR 2 and use it with our PC? Is that also something that, you know, maybe is causing the delay as well or the fact that they're saying they don't know when? I don't know. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you guys think about this specific as to why they can't give a date as to when they could make it work, since they clearly said they can make it work, right? So, all right, let's go back into the article and see what else we can find out from this. I told another, okay, so I told another, we have so much work to do to get it, to get a basic three degrees of freedom driver working. Then we have six DOFs, so six degrees of freedom enables you to jump, to walk, to do everything in real life, but inside of virtual reality versus 3 off, which is basically just like a media player. You can't actually move in the environment itself. Then we have controllers. This is a long process that we've just begun. So basically what they're saying is that they were able to crack it, but they weren't able to perhaps make it work. Is that basically what you guys are getting from this article? Leave a comment below, smash the likes and hit the notification bell after you subscribe for more breaking news videos, by the way, and live AMAs as we just did a live AMA, Ask Me Anything with the creator of Walkabout Mini Golf, guys. So do go and check out that live video after this video. All right, let's go back into the article. Let me zoom in, there we go. Uh, it also noted due to Sony's design choices, an extra piece of hardware will be needed to get PSVR2 running on PC. All right, so we'll have to buy something or create something. Everyone will need an adapter apart from some AMD users on Linux. It explained to another follower that adapter doesn't exist yet. We have to design and build one then hopefully some hardware company will pick it up and mass produce it. But I guess that also for those who have a uh, you know, 3D printer, perhaps you'll be able to 3D print it. I think this is very much a small issue, to be honest with you. It sounds to me like they're gonna have a bigger issue with getting the head to uh, position itself as to know where it is and all these kinds of different things and adapt the technology from the PSVR into using a PC. Now, the other question I have, guys, and do leave a question below. Let me know, you know, what you think about this. The PSVR 2 can also apparently have haptic feedback inside of the actual headset, so it shakes. 
inside. And also the controllers, of course, are very, they, you know, depending on how you press and all these kind of things, there's all these different haptic feedbacks. Now, normally an SDK needs to be installed inside of the PlayStation VR games for it to be compatible with all the technology that is brought inside of the actual headset as well. Now, if the games are running from a PC, from Steam, and not from Sony, does that mean that the SDK will no longer work? And basically, as what they're saying here, you know, does it mean that we won't get all this haptic feedback going from the controllers and also the haptic inside of the, the actual headset itself? These are also the other questions I think that they need to work on um, in, in trying to make it compatible because otherwise it means that technically speaking, a developer would have to install some kind of haptic feedback in the Steam game to be compatible with the actual headset itself as well. I imagine, I assume, I don't know. Leave a comment below. Let me know if you know, if you're someone in the industry who can provide some more feedback on that as well. All right, guys, so that's the news that we have. Smash the likes. Let me know that these are the videos that you want to see more of when I do breaking emergency news about the VR industry. And also, as I mentioned before, hit the notification bell after you subscribe as we'll be doing plenty more live AMAs and also live streams using testing different games using the, of course, the HP Reverb G2, the DPVR E4, and also the Pico 4, guys. So until then, I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy. Have a lovely evening and a super week ahead. Bye for now. Bye, guys.